This is the second in my How To series, showing how to do simple but very useful things in InfoPath forms. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to use conditional formatting to hide or show a section based on whether a checkbox is ticked. Here I have my demo form with the checkbox and the section. I right click on the section and go to conditional formatting in the menu. At the moment, there are no conditional formatting rules associated with this section, so I'll have to choose to add one. I get this new window. There are these drop down menus which allow me to choose the conditions under which the rule applies. The conditions can be based on values entered in fields, expressions, or the user's current role. The simplest is to use field data, and here the field yes, no, which is my checkbox, is already selected. There are various logical rules that could be applied. I'll leave this as is equal to, and then I get to set the value. I could set the value to be fixed, or I could compare it to the data in a different field. For this demo, I'll choose the fixed value of true. This AND button would allow me to add another condition using either an AND or an OR condition. This means that the rules defining conditional formatting can become very complex if necessary. Because we're dealing with a section, there's a limit on the amount of formatting that I can apply. The text formatting controls are disabled because they don't apply to the situation. If I wanted, I could change the shading of the section. But the option I'm interested in here is this one, hide this control. It's ticked, so I'll click OK twice. It's that simple. Now I'll preview this form, and you'll see that the section will appear or disappear based on whether or not the field is ticked.